What's going on guys? My name is Adima. Today we have some CPU or looting gameplay. Very exciting because he's my third level 100 bounty fest. We have uh, Moria, Boa, and him. That's it. These are my only level 100 bounty fest and this guy's a very, very, very good unit. The reason I gave him 400 shards because I thought it'd be fun. I didn't think that I'd max him out and I didn't think that I'd enjoy him this much. He's one of the best characters, top three attackers for sure. Much better than Shanks, unless you're a really good Shanks, but if you're a really good player, you probably moved on from Shanks, so yeah. Anyways, normal state is when you're big, paper art state is when you're small. When you're big, this skill is going to throw out something that will allow them to be a flame. When you're small, boom, you throw out a disc, fantastic, knock them back. When you're small, boom, boom, sorry, when you're big, boom, boom, when you're small, boom, small damage, when you're big, big damage, right? Very easy to understand this guy, small, small damage, big, big damage, right? Here. Uh, when you're small, uh, you boost speed, boost capture speed, and reduce defense. Okay, very easy to understand. Uh, when you KO someone, recover HP, and boost defense. <laughs> I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> you're saying it's more than 80? Resist stagger effect. That's fantastic. If uh, Snake Man throws out his stupid thing, you can still capture it, no problem, because, well, you resist stagger effect. So, you stagger your area, so I'm gonna do shit. Uh, when attacking an enemy, Increase in tank by 3%. Always. Hit an enemy, 3% attack increase up to 50%. That's fucking amazing. That's insane. Um, this means you're gonna fuck everyone. You're gonna bend over every single person you see, and you're gonna fuck them. Uh, after receiving damage from an enemy, more than 50% of your max HP reduce damage received by 30. That means, you know, big attacks will do a bit less damage, which is not my favorite thing, but also it's not bad. It can come in clutch, especially if you have higher support than the other guy, a one-shot skill might not one-shot you, and that could be fantastic, but the highest level of play, if you're against someone who one-shot, odds are he will still one-shot. So now, as you guys know, I usually like to do half-half, right? I don't like doing full-in. However, I decided I'm going to commit to this guy to 144. Now, he's not, this is not my main team. This is my main team right now, but I recorded some games today with this team and went ahead and did that. Now, because I don't have many reds, I don't have enough attackers, I went with the defender tag instead. Now, imagine with the attacker tag how much damage I'd be dealing. Strong Pirate, Paramecia, Captain, and New World. Uh, the medals I'm using on him, again, not my main set because I'm using other things. So, yeah, luckily I was able to find a set with full attack, some defense, some HP. HP is very nice because uh, we can recover more. Uh, this will give me more dodge. Increase damage when I'm losing, capture speed, very nice when you're small, and skill 1. Uh, it doesn't have skill 2, unfortunately, but this uh, compensates, and um, when I'm losing, I get more skill 2. Uh, this one, when I KO, <laughs> skill 1, which is very, very good, because you will KO often. And, uh, yeah, when in the area around your capture treasure, increase damage dealt. So, very, very nice things. Of course, there are better medals, you know, CP9 set, all these things. But let's get into the gameplay. Wow, three minutes of talking. Man, I talk a lot. I talk a lot. But of course, timestamps, you guys can skip this. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the game. So first game is in this uh, night 1-0 stage. Uh, very fantastic stage with Luchi because you can just throw your skill when you're in your small form. Throw anything. Throw anything. So not only is he broken, but you can bypass like everything. That wall, it's, it's paper. It's not even paper. It's nothing. It might as well be invisible. So here, uh, I thought uh, by, by uh, dodging, he would dodge because the animation is the same um, as uh, as the animation of skill 2 is the same as his dodge. So I thought maybe if I skill 2 instantly, he might dodge and blah, blah, blah. Playing mind games here. We both hit ourselves with the skill 1. Very, very close matchup right now with this Luchi. I'm going to have more HP than him. Um, but yeah, he dodged my third hit. And this is something I like to do. I don't know if people don't like to do it, but man, just use your normal attack and then use the third hit in range. If you see they dodge, perfect. You don't have to use your third attack, but one, two, and then, oh, poof, look at that, that will kill your brother from here, it's so easy with this guy. So, here, just want to see who it is. Of course, if you double tap one, two, one, two, one, two, you move faster. So, yeah, here, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I think I'm lost. Uh, there is a buggy. Now, I thought I would dodge that skill, but actually it's slower than I thought, so you have to dodge it after some time. Uh, we do hit the, this guy, so that's fantastic. Um... We dodge that, we perfect dodge that skill, so <laughs> Right? So poor, poor Buggy did not know what was coming to him. Managed to perfect dodge that skill. Bro, don't, don't ever do that. Don't do that, don't do that. Yo, Katakuri, don't do that. Whatever you were doing there is not what you're supposed to do when you're playing Bounty Rush, all right? 
Uh, it was so obvious. Kaku, you dead. Uh, shouldn't have uh, left the flag though, but it's okay. As long as we kill everything. So he hits the... Um... I don't know what the fuck I did there. But yeah, that is not how you play the game. So I shouldn't be coaching others, I should coach myself. This is not how I play the game. Now this big bum also doesn't know how to play the game. Because <laughs> this is the game where no one knows how to play the game. Fantastic. Now again, this doesn't care about walls. So get the kills. Get the kills on the poor big mom. A big mom, very squishy unit. DPS, high. Squishiness, insanely high. So, hey, 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 yoink. Rebecca, you know, props to you using Rebecca. Honestly, takes balls. Um, I, this skill, I used it too early. You want, as soon as they start standing up, you can throw it because it lingers a bit. So, it's fantastic. Um, anyways, uh, I'm, I'm going around the map. With my with my movement because it's faster than just walking around but obviously tying on the finger you know my poor finger sometimes gets tired again another ko um everything is very easy with this guy you just things just happen uh, again you see rebecca throw she tried to run away unfortunately that's a one shot because we have team boost um then here i'm trying to go yoink a kill <laughs> katakuri fell from the uh, usopp but again props to this guy for using usopp you know honestly the enemy team Hey, we might be winning, but the enemy team has balls. Something our team lacks. And then we throw out the skill, get another K on the category, and would have killed that guy as well. Fantastic first game to start things off. Uh, all these were recorded today, literally just today. Um, I, I came in, played games with him, and that's it. So yeah, uh, a lot of games I use a lot of Sabo as well, so obviously they won't be there. 11 KOs, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to this one first. Uh, okay. We're going to this one first, and um, yeah, let's see. So Drum Island, uh, this one I actually played it right before recording this video, like maybe an hour or two before recording this. And then I think the third game I'll showcase has a more Sabo in it, but you know, Stampede Sabo would make a video on him soon. And fantastic, fantastic units still. So let's get into the game. So of course you run with a 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, you know, your poor finger gets tired, you know, you're not just running, but it's okay, it's okay, your poor finger can suffer a bit. Uh, here maybe I shouldn't have dodged like a dumbass. Here obviously the ace would have had to use his thing, but yeah. Luckily we do manage to KO him. I thought he would have gotten staggered by then, but he did not. Marco left the point last second, poor guy, and then he gets one shot. Now of course guys remember I have defense not attack in my support in my tags, so I do less damage. Poor Apu here. This Apu actually did that, which is pretty good, pretty good. I didn't expect that. Now unfortunately the rock saved me and did not save him. Yeah, just hit, just hit. They can't dodge, he's so fast, his normals are so fast. Yeah, this is another thing I'll say about this character. His skill sometimes, his putuf putuf skill, sometimes it doesn't target. Alright, here we timed it pretty, pretty early, but I mean it wasn't too bad. So a bit later and we would have gotten, I think, maybe the Blackbeard and the Nami. Bikini Nami player, fantastic unit guys. Bikini Nami is one of my favorite units, my main for over a year, so very very good unit blackbeard he drops down uh here i want to stay at range um and then here i got confused which one was mine which one was theirs and i thought it was mine that stood up and then i realized it wasn't here i dodge it but i didn't like I, I don't know what i was doing i dodged it and i guess i was i don't know i went to masturbate or something because why did i just not move out the way um <laughs> i just dodged it i was like yeah that's it so guys of course if you're new to the game when blackbeard when you perfect dodge his skill too or whatever that skill is, uh, you actually have to move up because the end of the animation will still hit you and knock you back. So yeah, here, uh, I realized he wasn't using his thing. So yeah, too late, bro. Uh, stupid, stupid Blackbeard. You know, if you're a Blackbeard player and you're not stupid, honestly, props to you, man, because Blackbeard players are pretty stupid. You know, they're pretty stupid players. These Blackbeard players are pretty stupid, right? He sees the ace countering and he's like, I'm going to hit that shit. I'm going to hit it. <laughs> I think that's what happened. Uh, maybe he didn't. Now, no, look at this. Look at this. Look at this cheese. I'm just banging my skill. I'm like, dip, 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 dip. boom. <laughs> Easy. All right. The counter, we couldn't get the 5 0 yet. However, I think we 5 0 this game, if not 4 0. I think we 4 0. Yeah, 4 0. That's, that's a, the score we can get. Technically, it is possible if they never capture a flag. We could win 4 0. Yes. Uh, get the kill on the part <laughs> Who the fuck is this unit, dude? You don't even have to be good at the game. You have to be just as good as me and you can fall off. <laughs> Imagine if I had like a week of clips of, or, or a week of games to collect. 
the fuck would I be doing? Look at that. More chaos. Just, 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 just kill us. Things happen, bro. Things happen. This guy's broken. He's broken. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic units. So yeah, these are the uh, full Luchi games that I have for you guys. The last one, I'm gonna have some Sabo in it. So yeah, we're gonna go through it. Of course, MVP. Nine KOs this time. Uh, yeah, I just want to check the Blackbeard level because he was pretty squishy. But, uh, yeah, it's just Luchi. He's just really good. So, um, yeah. It was boost too, 140 support almost. So yeah, now let's get into this game. I think this one has more sabo. Yeah, we, we like I went on a six win streak. I think I went up to eight and then I lost. But even when I lose, I still have like six k score. So it's like he's a really really good unit, really really good unit, really good unit. So yeah, if you guys want to use someone without getting the hate of using shines, then my problem with chance right now is not 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 he's OP. Like good chances are very scary, of course. Uh, most chances are not scary, but the thing is they're team boost. It's like Blackbeard, it's team boost that's frustrating. Now he's using, this guy's using 101 on the Wano map, you know, very nice team. Uh, however, poor guy, uh, so he dodges my skill, that was stupid of me. Uh, that was very stupid of me, that's exactly how you don't play Bounce Rush. Again guys, see, this is not about showing off how good I am, this is about showing off how bad I am, because I get to show you guys and teach you guys more. Um, if you guys actually want tips, I'll leave in the description or the comments from uh, Gold Lion. He made a fantastic video on CP0, and yeah, perfect dodge that chance skill. See, that's a chance skill that you don't use. And then he uses his dodge. See, that's a bad chance player. Like most chance players, they will do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, boys. Then I throw out my skill. Shanks dodges that, so... Oh, good job, Shanks. I don't know why you tried to capture there. Like, that was not the play, but maybe he was hoping, you know, he can get a bit of time. Here, eh, I wish it was auto-locking, but... We get the king on the Shanks. I thought he would have killed us there, but no. Our normal attacks are way too good. Um, okay, we perfect dodge that. Then the boom, boom. Again, remember, we're recovering HP at the same time. So, okay, I thought we'd die much earlier than this. I guess we have more Luchi gameplay than we thought. Uh, maybe, maybe there's no sound on this one. <laughs> I think there is, though. I think there is. All right. Just throw out that skill. <sighs> See, I should have aimed it a bit better. Sometimes you have to aim the skill. Sometimes they auto-lock. So, really, you and your luck. Uh, with the game, but yeah, get get in the habit of auto locking or at least looking at their at their faces. There, uh, I don't know what hit me. I think it was Sabo, probably Sabo. Red Sabo, another fantastic unit. I don't have him, so I can't say how good he feels to play. But I know a lot of people hate Mr. Red Sabo. So we get the K on this guy again. Remember, the walls don't mean shit to Luchi. So you just throw your skill. Only the small one, by the way. The big one will not hit uh, Snake Man. That's not how you time skills. Really, we're hoping for the best there, but you should honestly expect the worst. We get another KO on the Sabo, then we throw the skill on the Luchi. Sorry, on the Snake Man, and uh, yeah, Shanks. This is this is my bad. This is my bad. This is my bad. Honestly, this is 100% my bad. I should have, I shouldn't have used two hits. I should have just used one. See if he used the dodge and continue. But I was really hoping he wouldn't dodge and he would basic attack there first. But I was wrong, and you know, you never know, Shanks. Man, their skill level, their mentality, all is different. There's no one right way to play Shanks, and there's no one wrong way to play Shanks. So it's all about the mind games, so you really gotta take that into account. Anyways, we get a nice K on the Shanks as a revenge. Um, I think we lose this one, uh, maybe. We get a perfect dodge. Goodbye, Snake Man and Luffy. Uh, can we capture this one? Can we capture? Maybe save the day. Oh, yeah, I think we win this one. Yes, 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 yes. Because the Dofi, Mr. Dofi. I think Dofi captures the other one last second, and since we were able to capture this one, it's easy claps. We get to hit the law, and uh, the enemy team saw, but uh, yeah, Dofi, Mr. Dofi captured the third flag. So, us capturing this flag came in clutch for sure, and we got a win, making this the seventh win at my streak. And I lost with a 6,000 score, I think, the game right after, or the game after, after. So, and all these games in one day, in one day, guys, imagine what I could find <laughs> 8 KOs. Imagine what you could do when you have like a long, long time, like weeks of clips to get. Fantastic unit, fantastic unit this guy is at level 100, fucking broken man. I haven't boost one. Imagine with boost two. Imagine the tankiness. Imagine the DBS. I mean, I mean, insane, insane things with Luchi. It's easy on Luchi. Now I won't be using him for much longer. I do feel like, uh, you know, he's scaring me hard. I do prefer using a bit on the weaker side. I don't like necessarily using the meta, uh, but that's that. That's CP0 Luchi gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Gold Lion's video as well. I think he posted today or yesterday, depending on when I upload this. Very good video, informative from what I've seen of it, and I can't wait to watch the rest of it. So, 
great video i'll leave it in the comments or in the description so make sure to check that out again peace